So, uh, hi everyone. So in today's video I'm going to show all of you how you can get uh, pretty much the um, uh, like the latest ver how to get the Unity Hub installed when you're getting uh, this error in particular uh, which says that there is not enough storage space for the selected item so that you do not have enough storage space even though you have more than enough space to install the sad app. So, and it's a pr problem that's persistent across many versions uh, or on all platforms pretty much either on Linux or on the Windows and one of the ways you can solve this is you need to open up your Unity Hub and you'll land on the uh, learn page most likely uh, you can log in if you want I'm not logged in currently but it doesn't matter you click install and you click add once you click add you pick a version for example I'm gonna pick this this LTS release and normally you would pick absolutely everything for example and then you would click next you would accept everything click done and you can see it says there's not enough storage space for the selected items so a way you can fix that is actually really simple so first however you need to download unity uh, to do that you go down into the link where I'll sh into the description there's this link and you want to pick personal once you download the personal app it will download a app image file and uh, once you get the app image file you want to double click that file so go to downloads and once you let me just i have it run through my script so it doesn't matter but you pretty much double click this file you click continue and it's going to ask you if you want to integrate it and run it or just run once if you're on linux just run it run it once it's going to open up a, another instance uh, well it's not gonna cause I have it open already but it will open up an instance you just run it once and that's how you pretty much open it on the Linux and after you've done that you pick your version for example I'm gonna pick the Unity LTS and I already showed you what happens if you have everything selected the way you fix it is really simple you're going to the Android build tools I'm not even kidding that's the fix for it you click the Android build tools and you untick the Android SDK and NDK tools. You untick this, you click done, no errors. It starts downloading and installing. Now I'm gonna have to cancel this because I already have it installed, but as you can see, no errors, it started downloading. To prove to you that I in fact do have a version, we're going to create a project using this version. Uh, we can leave it as a, as a 3D object and create a new folder here just to prove to you that it does work in fact so we're going to create here uh, a folder called unity actually I have a folder in here already called unity this one is empty can we rename it? we cannot, let's create a new file uh, unity projects and we're going to select the folder pick 3d keep it as a new unity project and we're going to click create and what it's going to do is going to generate for us a new environment now bear in mind this fix works also under windows so just make sure to to untake the android sdk and ndk and you should be good to go it says it's initializing the project template it might take a little while to launch Okay, it's starting the server and it's resolving packages might take a little while let me just check if we are recording it seems like we are we're not even dropping any frames at all which is perfect and file size is really manageable so yeah I just give it some time can in fact show the desktop here just with that one thing open it's gonna open everything else anyway here so it takes a little while to load everything up but that's pretty much it that's how you fix it just wanna prove to you that it does work come on bud okay it's initializing graphics applying active color space um, the reason why I wanted to do this video originally is I was struggling with this error myself and there was nothing on the Unity forums, so I just had to look around the internet. I was like, okay, let's just untick a few things, try a few things out. 
I came across a post about a few hours ago, cannot even remember which one it was. If I find it, I will link it. But the solution pretty much was to untick a few items and just test it out. I was like, okay, so pretty much the thing I was doing. And I was curious, what if I install the Android SDK and NDK afterwards? So that's what I did. I unticked the Android SDK and NDK, clicked install, and it installed before giving me that stupid error. And after doing some research on that error specifically, I realized that it's a common issue that still persists. No one knows why that happens. It happens on Windows, it happens on Linux. So it's like, okay. And we have a new Unity project using OpenGL 3.3. It's an older version of OpenGL, but that's fine. It's just that some assembly stuff is missing. But if we give it time, we will have a fairly nice environment with some cameras and such. There's some layers and stuff, which is cool. So we can have a look at all the models. Um, yeah, it takes a little while to load everything, but yeah, that's pretty much Unity running on my system right now. Uh, we have the sample scene, we have some packages here from the JetBrains uh, Reindeer Editor, Visual Studio Editor, Code Editor, pretty much everything in here. This is for the game aspect. As you can see, it works. Uh, we can also create a asset if we want to, for example, I don't have much experience with Unity, I used it only once before, so I don't know much, but there's a bunch of things we can do, but as you can see it's a fully working version, it just so happens to run fairly slowly on my machine, so that's why you see all these glitches. But you can you can move stuff around, you can change stuff, it depends on you. So yeah, uh, I hope this helped you guys in somewhat. I'm gonna go upload this video real quick to help other people out who need that help. But it works. All it took was a little bit of know-how and research and we got it running. Uh, I'm using a script to launch my Unity, so I'm not gonna show that script, it's something really easy. So yeah, go nuts, have fun. Also, file sizes are much smaller now with the new script, so go nuts.